Hey guys, it's Tony Sassy T from the 803. How you guys doing? I'm doing good. I'm just sitting in here doing nothing. I thought you, I bet you guys thought I wasn't coming on, right? <laughs> I fooled you, I fooled you. But anyway, before we get started, remember all things on this channel is alleged, in my opinion. It is for learning, it is for teaching, it is for sheer entertainment, okay? You guys, I was just looking and I saw on uh, Sloppy Slow's uh, page while I was here in the bathroom doing my, you know, trying to brush my hair and stuff. And I saw she got a little Tiffany package. Um, do y'all think it's Martell sending her Tiffany? Of course it is. Of course. Um, I think it's an old Tiffany box with one of Mel's, uh, some studs that he probably gave Mel. And he cleaned them up and sent them to her. Because it's alleged now that she, uh, he gave her some of Mel's purses allegedly and that's why he wouldn't let her in the house because he didn't have her stuff to give because he had gave it to sloppy sloppy you taking seconds all the way around now you taking seconds to <laughs> a whole new level so a whole new level you're second in the man's life you're second getting his ex's purses allegedly you're second in getting her Whatever he had left over and cleaned up and sent to you. And then, you know, he plays the song that you like on one of his things. Then he does the same thing with Mel. Girl, you still falling for the okie doke? At this point, sis, you get what you get. You know what I'm saying? He has drug you through hell, from hell, to hell, and back. And he going to keep dragging you to the deepest pits of hell because you let him and there's not love that's that's obsession that's dependency that's sick okay um but hey so if that's what you want you go right ahead you go ahead and get drugged you know just protect yourself that's all i got to say because he's never going to stop messing with women because you're not his type for one you're not his type but number two, he will never marry you because you're not his type. Number three, you're just easy to get sex from. All you have to do is buy something or I'll give you a few dollars. That's it. That's all. That's it. Seriously. And um, so that's why he won't ever be anything to you. It's sad that you think he will, but he won't. Um, anyway, you guys, what do you think? Do you think that's Martell sending her Tiffany, leftover Tiffany's from mail? Because <laughs> that's what it is. Because, baby, he ain't got no money. Okay? He ain't got no money to the show and to the reunion. And then when he get that money, he got to pay so many bills, he broke. Okay? So, hey, it is what it is. Um... Yeah, I do think that was here. He did. He sent that because he know how to drag uh, Arya. She's so stupid. It's unreal. And the reason why I'm going to tell y'all, and I keep telling y'all this, in her mind, she feels if she wins Martell, she has won against Mel. That's her deluded uh, reality. The real reality is Mel gave you Martell. He still didn't want you. He left you with the baby. Went and messing around with some other woman. Went to D.C. messing around with some other woman. Only comes back to you when he gets bored because he, you are convenient. You are able to just give him what he wants until he finds the next victim. So, but in your mind you think, if I get Martell to myself, then I can hurt Mel. But you can't. She divorced him. She gave him to you. And he still didn't want you. Um, I don't know how much clearer that can be. You can have him. She don't care. She's moved on, sir. The only person you're trying to prove that to is you. We see it. She moved. Martell knows it. 
and you the dummy that's still trying to prove it. What kind of foolishness have this come into? Child, I'm trying to tell you, this is the signs, telltale signs, and the tears of a clown. Because she is a teary-eyed clown still trying to prove that she can get Martell from Mel. Martell is not with Mel. Uh, who you trying to get him from? Is Sheree? Really? Girl. <laughs> Girl, the delusions. Mm, mm, mm. Your poor brain ain't got, it just does not, it's not firing. Leave the little um mini bottles alone. Sober up and face reality. Get therapy and move the hell on. Uh, raise your kids, sloppy. Girl, you, you falling for the okie doke again. Girl, you stupid. But I think you like it though. I think... You think in your mind that he's always going to come back. Of course he is. If you make it easy, yeah, he's going to come back. He's always going to come back and get a, thr a cheap thrill until he finds a woman that he really wants to be with. Um, He'll always say he's sorry. He'll always buy you stuff until the next good woman come along. And then he'll go and trust and believe. He's studying somebody right now. Um, He's just... Trying to prey on him. But now since, you know, I don't know if him and Sheree are actually messing around now. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? I don't care. Um, but since he's in this limbo, he's going to always come back to you. Get his butt blowed. He blows yours. You ride his face. He rides your face. And uh, then in a month, he's going to be with somebody else. He made you look like a fool in front of millions. And you still want this food. He made you look like an idiot. The biggest idiot. That you already an idiot. But I'm just saying. He made you look like the dirt on the bottom of my shoe. And you still? Girl. Well, I mean, when you come from dirt, maybe that's what well, that's what you used to, honey. When you from dirt, I guess you accept dirt. I don't know. I mean, you say you dating. You say you from dating. Dating girls different. They sure live. They dumb if they put up with the stuff that you put up with. They're dumb and ignorant if they put up with the stuff that Martell has drug you through. Because, baby, he has drug you through to the pits of hell. The pits. And he's still dragging you. And you still falling for it. Poor Tank Tank. Chad. You deserve it. You deserve it. Get your girls up. Get your hair done. Your nails done. You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You better hope you ain't got it. But first and foremost, if you don't hear anything else, Ariane, protect yourself, okay? Because you're dealing with a nastiness. He might have splinters. And honey, you know, I think that's the only thing that's going to stop you. I, but you know what? It's sad because, in my opinion, there'll be something that will hold on to him forever. Mmm. That's disgusting. But anyway, um, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> she that delusion that obsessed with him that she would definitely stay with him through anything just to prove a point that don't need to be proven that has already been proven that male proved male has moved on don't think about you the only reason why we talk about you is to make coins off of you so if you want us to pimp you fine with me I do it I'm here for it Always. But the thing of it is, you get used all the way around. And you the one that get paid. <laughs> and it's not even about your life. It's about Mel, Lil D, and Martell. Since you was just the holy guy that came out, your life don't mean nothing. This was about their story. Because they were married. They have four children. They built the empire. Well, Mel built the empire. He was just a tag alone, just like you. So, the story is not about you. 
it was never yours to tell. In fact, you had nothing to do with it. You just inserted yourself. And uh, it's sad because you actually think we want to know about you. We don't care. We don't care about you. We don't want nothing about you. We look at the show for Mayo and Martell. We look at the show for them, their storyline. You don't have one. You never did. You're just a silly little girl from Dayton who got food, drug, and was sold a pipe dream that never came true. The pipe dream blew up in your face. You got nothing but black face with soot all over it. Now you wiping it off, embarrassed, and still think you got a prize? Girl, you really are sick. <laughs> you coming up on the rough side of the mountain. Yes, the rough side, just like those guys. Right? They got the rough side of the belt. You hear me? Just listen. Ariane, I can't make it any simpler. It was never about you. Never. It has never been about you. Ever. Okay? It's always been about Mel. It's always been about Martell, the Scots. It's ne it was never about you. Your storyline didn't even matter. We don't care. There was never a storyline. It was Mel's and Martell's storyline. You just made yourself. Available through Tasha K, like we said before, because you got tired of being in the in the background. Well, uh, there were others in the background, four or five others in the background. You just had to be the one to come out. And so when you came out, what you think we're gonna do? Sit around and not talk about you? They didn't talk about you on the show. We talked about you in the YouTube streets, Instagram streets, Twitter streets, the street streets, but the show didn't. That's the only way we know of you. It's through these streets, not through the show. So get it to your head. It will never be a show about you. It never was and never will be. Okay? Uh, I just had to let you know that, sir. I just had to let you know that since you think everything's about you. It's not. So, I'm glad, you know, you're back with your, um, with Cabbage. Head cabbage, and uh, and I know you just you the shredded slaw. Um, you've been shredded, you've been used and abused, and still went ready to go through it again, girl. You you do that, you go, girl. You keep getting drugged, you keep on getting the food made out of you. You keep getting dragged, you get keep getting laughed at. You keep on, girl. We like it. Give us our coins. We gonna continue to talk about you, drag you. There ain't nothing you can say to us that hurt us, baby, because you look like a complete idiot right now. Uh, make sure those earrings are real, okay? So they won't turn your ears gray. Okay, okay, sir. But anyway, you guys, I just thought I'd come on here and do a little miniature drag, and that wasn't even a drag. That's just facts. That you got this thirty-two-year-old woman with two children on. Instagram, pretty much begging for a man to come back that's been in the streets, spreading his uh, kindling and might be splinters on the end of it. Who knows? And she wants that back for a little cheap Tiffany earrings that was probably males allegedly in the beginning. All he did was it was something he bought her. He said, well, I can't give it to me. I might as well give it to her. She'll think I got it for her. It was males first. <laughs> Just like them pocketbooks, allegedly. They were males first. Baby, you know what? It's sad. You even get seconds in, in clothing and pocketbooks. Girl, grow up. You from Dayton, remember? You a, yeah, yeah, you a girl from Dayton. Y'all supposed to be the stuff. Y'all ain't supposed to be uh, second class. But you live in second class, third class, fourth class, fifth class, and sixth class. But you ain't got no class. It's out. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I will be back later in, um, to do another, you know, video after the uh, love and marriage fiasco. Um... And, um, now tell me what you think about this video. Um, did Aryan get some Tiffany? 
I mean, she can buy her own Tiffany if she get a job. I mean, I, who ain't got Tiffany? I mean, I mean, the perfume, you can buy the perfume. I bought the perfume. I got, you know, what are we talking about? Gucci, like my Gucci necklace and, you know, and, um, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we looking for other things. We looking to rise above. Tiffany is nice. It's nice. You know, Tiffany is okay. Um, I'm sorry. You know, there are other things. You know, Tiffany now is mediocre. <laughs> I mean, you can buy it offline like that. It's mediocre, sis. And he probably got it off of Etsy. Or Etsy, whatever that is. Child, make sure it's real. That's all I can tell you. Martell, you know what I'm saying? Or he probably stole it from Sheree's house, allegedly. Who knows? Girl, don't be going around with hot earrings. Mm-mm. Walking around hot. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around dirty. <laughs> Y'all already look dirty, werewolf. Then you're going to have some dirty rings. <laughs> anyway, you guys, hit the like button, comment, share the video, keep me in the algorithm. Yo, all right. Okay, you guys, I will be back later. Bye bye. Oh, and welcome to subscribers. Thank you for joining the channel. Thank you for joining the tribe called T. You guys, I really want to get to 10 G's by the end of the year. Whew, that's a big number, but I think we can do it. What you guys think? I think personally that we can push this thing and we can do this, okay? Um, so let's work hard and get these uh, numbers up. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Y'all, y'all have no idea. None. Okay. Well, um, like I said, if you want to donate to the channel, you can. Um, there is a super chat emoji. It's in the shape of a heart. Um, you can do that. You can also join the channel. Um, I am waiting on a few more to join the channel because I, I really don't have a lot right now. But the ones that's there, please hold on. There, it's going to be more to join, I promise you, and eventually. And then you guys will have the first of first. So when I get that number, then uh, YouTube will allow me to do members only, okay? Um, so exclusives and all that. So I don't know what the number is that they're looking for, but... And when that number hits, trust and believe you guys would know. Okay? All right. So, I will talk to you later. You guys have a great day. And I will see you later. We're going to talk about love and marriage, hot spill, the brawl, honey. <laughs>